<laughs> oh my gosh, we're back in the kitchen together, Dara. I, I am so Charles, happy to be. I can't believe it. Yay. This is my buddy. We are, hi everybody, it's Dara. Hi, Ray, it's Charles. Charles, and Charles is moving and grooving all over the country, and I haven't seen him in a long time. Yes. Probably since you've seen him in my kitchen the last time. Oh my gosh, that's been so. a long time. A lot of things have happened. Wow, lots of things. So lots I'm going to be serving uh, the raw vegan crepes with strawberries for Charles, and he can tell you what anything he wants to say. I am so Just excited. Go for it. Tell me what's up. All right, so what's what's in this? Okay, so what I'm serving you is a very soft and beautiful pliable crepe. I am so impressed. Banana, right? Wow. <laughs> it's moist. It's, it's not mm -hmm. dry. No. And it smells banana, delicious. Banana, coconut, and. Um, a little bit of flax. Are you wow. okay with flax? I love flax. Okay. Lots of great fiber. Mm -hmm. So normally I serve it with my mascarpone cream, which has macadamia and cashews, but Charles prefers no cashews. Yeah, the right. one good thing about this mac this mascarpone cream is that I ferment it. I, I let it culture itself with probiotics, so it really is easy to digest. So for those of you who think maybe you can't have nuts, if you ferment, if you culture them, um, they usually are much easier to digest. So very cool. Yes. So you, did you soak these nuts as well? Of course, I soaked. Always. I soaked them, <laughs> and um, I just blended them with a little apple cider vinegar, a little uh, lemon juice, some probiotics. It's yeah. easy, and it's, and how long can this last in the fridge? That's a good question. That that will last since it's fermented. I'd say at least a week. Oh wow. Nothing lasts that long around here because I'm always serving it. And yeah. It's, hard to, it's really hard to gauge that for me, but that is so um, beautiful. It lasts until you taste it and it doesn't taste good anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good. Smell good. it and yeah. then taste it. And food should go bad because a lot of people think, oh, yeah, my food it should last good. forever. No, if it goes bad, it means it's fresh. I still want to put a dollop of cream in. I'm not gonna. Let's do, do it. Let's no, just really? do a little bit. A little just bit? a little bit. Because you, sure? you said it's made from mac. Uh, Mac and a little bit of cashews, okay, that's it. So, is that okay? Yeah, that's good. It just looks so pretty and it's just going to make you... So we, I fold it over, if there's not too many strawberries, I fold it over and you eat it, you know, like a crepe, like that. Oh my gosh. And then you just take, I'll get you a knife and fork. Let's do it. Um, so he's the first person. My dad was the first person to try the savory crepe. Oh, I want to meet your dad. I want to meet Irving. I could call Irving to come yeah, over. Yeah, I see all his videos. He's so adorable. I saw you guys went to the Springs. Wasn't that amazing? Yes. I love that place. That place is like... Did you see Nina? No. Who's Nina's Nina? the chef there, too. No, yeah. I met Mike. Michael's awesome, too. All right. So taste this it. This is a taste test. Wow, it even, cuts like, it even cuts like yeah. a break. I'm very Does impressed. Really? Yeah, this is so great. I hope it's sweet enough because I'm using. I like to use honey sometimes. You want to? Oh no, I love up, maple so syrup. I want to make sure there's enough. Hold on. Oh no no no! <laughs> <laughs> She's okay. like, you're already sweet enough, Dara. You don't need to add anymore. I just want it here. All right. I want it all up here. Ready, you guys? Here we go. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Good, right? That is impressive. I, I feel I feel pretty confident. <laughs> yeah. That is so good. Really? I love the texture, mm -hmm. and just the consistency reminds me of a crepe, even better because it's less, less oily, right. and you're getting all that flax. Yeah. Really good. And you guys can find the recipe. Yeah, I'll put video. the link below again, but they've been seeing and hearing about the crepes This on is Instagram so good. And, and I want to try the cream by itself. It's really just, not, it's mild. It's like, um, mm. it's got a little kick, It's better than right? whipped cream. Yeah. That is really good. Yeah, I'm so glad you like it. Awesome. So yummy. Yeah. Anything Dara makes is amazing, so I'm not even surprised. Because I've, I've been upping my game around here with recipes yes, for everybody. I, I definitely love it. have been. And and we're, we're drinking a tonic right now. I'm getting exclusive access of no Dara's beer. Energy Tonic, which I am so excited about. This is what going to be available in like 10 days. Within 10 days, Within we will 10 have days. the website, uh, my website set up so that you can purchase these and we send them to you directly. This is like gorgeous packaging and oh It's my, my energy tonic. So if you don't have the time to do what I do, which is order all the ingredients and, you know, Hosha Wu and Chaga and Reishi and Lacuna and all the things that make you heart happy and lifted. Um, if you don't have time to mess with it every morning because... I do that. I do that every day and sometimes two or three times a day. But sometimes when you're on the go, like, you know. You just don't have time. Yeah. I wished I had it the other day. Um, I just got it. And oh my gosh, it smells really thank good. Thank you. So the thing is, is that. Tell me what's in it. Okay, we've got um, cacao, lucuma, 
Um, I couldn't put coconut oil, so what I recommend is if you want to make it at home, you can mix it in the oh, that's with great. coconut mm -hmm. oil. You can't put a fat in here, obviously. Yeah. Um, we've got the best, and I'm telling you, the best herbs that you can find, the highest quality. Um, reishi. I love which reishi. Which lifts your spirit, right? It, it's adaptogen too, so kind of like whatever imbalances you have in the body, it helps you with that. Mm -hmm. I love reishi. Mm -hmm, me too. Reishi is like a favorite, and chaga mushroom is just. Chaga mushroom is such a powerful immune support mushroom. Um, it actually can graft a tree that's been split back together. Like the mushroom heals the trees. Like mushrooms are us. so powerful. So I love mm -hmm. that you're educating everybody about mushrooms because mm -hmm. it's something that people put aside and they don't really focus on. Right. There's so many healing properties in all right. these mushrooms. Right. And I, and I can send people to like the experts like, you know, Ron Teagarden at Dragon Herbs and yes. Romania at Shaman Shack and jo George and John at Jing Herbs. Mm -hmm. And then I can also help you to make it palatable and easy to do. So for people, I've had so many people tell me, thank you so much, Dara. I'm off of coffee now, right? Like That's a huge thing. This is like a coffee it substitute. Is. It I is. do coffee my whole life and I just can't anymore. It makes me feel bad. So this helps you. You keep it in a thermos. You have it throughout the day. Wow. So you're able to stay raw because you've got this warm nurturance for your organs. Especially when those mm -hmm. people who are in the East Coast where it's super yes. cold, it's really hard to I stay raw. I have you a need big have... thermos like yes. this. This is on my website, this big bad boy. Oh wow, yeah, that's right? like, like 30 cups. And it keeps <laughs> it hot, and you can share it with people. But so here, I have in here, I have uh, Shilajit also, which is mineralizing. There's The benefits of Shilajit are numerous. Yeah. Romania just wrote a book on just on Shilajit. Uh, it's just uh, anti-inflammatory, it helps your brain, it, hel it helps everything. Um, Especially in a world where we're not getting enough minerals in, yes. our, in our food. Because all the, yeah, been, the soil's been depleted. Yeah. yeah. Um, we have Eucania, which is really good for athletes. It's good for joints. If anybody has arthritis, it helps our joints. It's the rubbery bark of a tree. And so that helps us to stay fluid. We have cordyceps for energy and libido. The best cordyceps, like really good. We've got Makuna. They should have wrote Vacuna Purian on here, but it's it's the thing that promotes dopamine. It, it's a happy thing. So combined with cacao, you're just feeling very happy. Mm, we've got uh, what I roasted barley, roasted rye, chicory root, dandelion. Yerba mate. The, that makes it taste like coffee. So it's a mocha flavor. It's a chocolate coffee flavor. We've got yerba mate. I use sun-dried cane juice crystals because they're natural and it gives it a nice flavor. These herbs are very bitter, so yes, you gotta do something, mm -hmm. you know. Um, vanilla, pure vanilla bean, and Himalayan pink salt, and it's very exciting. And you use two to three tablespoons in your hot water, your favorite nut milk. Um, you can put it in a smoothie. For extra creaminess, you add coconut oil, and you can take this on the go. The bag is $30, which actually comes out each serving. There's 10 servings, so it's $3 a serving, and I'm told for those who go to Starbucks, because I don't walk into the place. Was it like $5 for a coffee? Right, and it's not good for you. It's, I don't want to rank yeah. out Starbucks, but like I don't know about their, you know, their coffee, but a lot of places that we go into have coffee beans that have been laden with pesticides, so we mm. want to stay away from that at least. If you're drinking coffee um, and tea, go for organic. So in any case, this is a really, um, and it's a great gift. It is a fantastic gift. I would be so happy Let's to show get it up close. Coffee yeah. alternative. Mm -hmm. Yes. You guys so got to check it out. So where can they find this in about uh, 10 My website. Lessons? Dara. Um, Yes. What, what is it? DaraDuvenet.com. Yes, Dara And so we're talking like we're doing an infomercial. <laughs> but no, funny. I just got so excited. I was like, because like, Dara gave me a gift, and I was like, is this even available to everyone? We have to talk about no. this. And I'm well, about to drink can, it right you now. Drink it. What you okay. can do is my ebook came out. Okay, so my ebook. If you want to make them at home. Hold on. This is amazing. Aww. What did you sweeten it with? I it has the sh it has. So the that's cream. it. Yeah, and you then yours the has a little coconut oil in it. Okay. I like to make it creamy at home. Oh, I love so it. So I do add coconut. So oil you didn't add it. any extra sweetener. It's just no. the way it is. No, it's lovely. This is so good. I don't even drink coffee. I just like to taste a coffee and the smell of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think that if you want to make them at home, if you're interested in having a libido tonic and a sleepy time tonic and you know, different kinds of uh, tonics than my recipe book, the Intro to Tonics, that's also on my website. So we're, it's tonic land, and I have to say, to me, eating and drinking like this has been the secret to so much health and wellness. And um, you look amazing, Dara, as always. You, it's all the raw foods and all the love. Mm -hmm. I feel it, I feel it. This is mm -hmm. so good. So what else is new? Fill me in. 
fill you in, it's just been a lot of recipe upping my game and mm -hmm. playing with things. I'm going to be working on my chocolates. Uh, oh my gosh. Um, and just, um, I don't know, having fun. And you know what the biggest creating. thing that I've been doing mm -hmm. is creating and saying no to things that don't make me happy and only doing the things that make me happy. So yes. Let's talk been, about that for a, for a second. Yes. So a lot of people are scared to say no when opportunities come to them. Mm -hmm. But do you listen to your gut or what, you know, what inspires you to say yes or no? Do you just like go with the For internal me, feeling? I feel like a little, almost like a level of anxiety when I've said yes to something I don't want to do or when there's some idea that's approaching me or somebody mm -hmm. says, I can almost judge in my body because I've gotten so clean with eating this way, because I've decluttered my home. Mm -hmm. When something approaches that isn't energetically correct, I start feeling tense. Mm -hmm. And when I feel tense, I'm like, well, what is it and what can I do about it? Mm, that's you know, good. Who can I get to help me with something I don't like to do? Yeah. What can I say no to, even though I should say yes? Like, if you get offered a really great job, even though it's not with the right situation, mm -hmm. even though it's what some people would say, you should take that, it doesn't mean that you should. You kind of have to be your own authority. Yes, you do. And take a second. P people think that you have to give the answer right away, but you, you don't have to, right? You can uh -huh. kind of like say, let me get back to you on that. Yeah, let me let me get back to you on that. And then you don't, right, that's a, thank you for that. Because don't ever rush into a situation when people try to like, oh, we have to find out right now. Yeah. There's no rush. You can take a moment, think about it, meditate on it. When you're in a calmer state of mind and you're, you're just relaxed, then right. make that decision. That's a really good tip. Because so often we're like, sure, sure, I can do that. And then we're like, oh, no, now And you pile on know. all these things, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's probably best to make that a practice to say, let me get back to you on that. That's totally acceptable. It's almost like, okay, let me check my schedule. But even more vague is let me get back to you on that. It's just let me get back to you on that. Yeah. And then notice in your body and, it, and for everybody it's different sometimes we feel a constriction in our heart sometimes we feel a little neck ache sometimes we feel you know what i mean like, yes yes who's the pain Uneasy in the neck what's the you know what's what's lurking that doesn't feel right oh it's that okay what can i do to address that talk to a friend about that um, instead of running to addictions like food um piling up all these things to to block us from feeling what you're feeling so true it's so because we don't notice that like we feel a little anxiety oh let me just take a drink oh we feel a little, let me just eat that pizza yeah. let me mm -hmm. but if you notice that the anxiety is coming from a source right it's mm -hmm. the same thing as identifying the cause of an illness the cause of a rash instead of putting some cream on what's causing mm -hmm. you know the thing in the first place so you i know you've practiced this i know oh, thank you. that uh, charles has taken leaps of faith to do to make sure that he's happy thank you can you thank talk you. about that yes let's talk about it so i think last time i was here we were, we were all okay. talking about yeah. like figuring out what we want to do since then i've moved to new york so I got a really great job opportunity out there and it was really scary because when I was presented with this opportunity, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm leaving everything that I know is comfortable behind. But a part of me was like, that's the only way you can grow and it feels right. Yeah. Even though there was all these things holding me back and I was like, I need to do this for myself. I'm young. Let's just take a leap of faith. And everything has been, I've just been in a flow. Everything has opened up. The universe has showed me that when you follow your faith, and it's authentic to how you feel, mm -hmm. you'll be taken care of. Mm -hmm. So don't worry about the how, if there's something in your life and you're trying to figure out, okay, how do I make this happen? Don't think about the how, just think about the why. Right. Is why, why you're doing something authentic to you and it's, it's real and it's like something that actually means something to you. Right. So and not and I think to be unafraid of stating it, that you were at a very young age, you were able to say, um, yeah, this isn't working for me energetically. It might have all the components of the right job, the right security, situation, yep. security, mm -hmm. but on some level, it, what, it, what one of the things that he was doing didn't feel right for, mm -hmm. because it wasn't his calling. It's not his ultimate path. Mm -hmm. And he had to take a huge leap of faith, mm -hmm. leaving it. And by, by even, I think, stating out loud, because you did state in my kitchen to me, um, this isn't really what I want to do anymore. I'm not sure what I want to do, but it's stating that you knew it wasn't what you wanted to do mm -hmm. and that you were willing to find something else probably helped to create that opportunity yes definitely so I think everybody at home just get deep with yourself and ask yourself what is it that you want to bring about into the world because I feel like everyone has a special gift or talent 
and it's, mm -hmm. I think you're here in the universe to share it. Yours mm -hmm. is to create lots of love and like recipes and educate and teach people and share. I think that's mm -hmm. so amazing. And don't limit yourself. Like the possibilities are endless, but listen and be in tune with that. Don't be scared. Right. Don't be afraid because we are, we have everything we need. We're taken care of and we will be even more taken care of probably beyond our wildest imaginations when we step away from which just doesn't feel good. It's just as simple, it's as simple as that. And for me, I've been somewhat brave in my life because it doesn't matter how much money I've spent on it or how much time I've invested in it. If it no longer feels right, that's just You need to line, learn how to walk right? away yeah. and not let the ego. Sometimes the ego is like, well, well you spent so much yeah. time on this, it's going to look stupid. What are people going to think about yeah, yeah, this? Yeah. You can't let what other people think about anything mm -mm. you know, stop you from doing what you love. So mm -hmm. just keep going. Um, so one thing that I actually took and explored is, so I moved to New York City mm -hmm. and I told Dara earlier that I got super inspired from just your journey and like cooking and inspiring other people to enroll in culinary school. So culinary school, I applied for a scholarship for, it's for a full ride. So I'm hoping Tell that- Tell us which one so people can know. Okay, it's ICE Culinary School, it's in New York City. It's literally like 10 minutes from where I live currently. Okay. And you guys can help me by voting, just going on charleschen.tv. And it's basically by uh, votes. I don't know. vote for you to get a scholarship? Yes. Oh, that's so, easy. Yes, yeah, so we just can vote. do that. Yes. Oh, because I want you to be have mad skills because you're so interested oh, in thank you. sharing with people <laughs> how to do things. Roxy, no Hi, Roxy. So, so if Charles has the mad skills, because I really do believe the culinary school, I went to Living Light yes, Culinary did. Arts Institute, it and that gave me level. so much confidence to do whatever I wanted, to mm -hmm. do whatever my gift is. Yes. You know, it's not like somebody else's, and mm -hmm. it's totally true. Like, like when I learned about feng shui, I remember thinking, oh, I'm not gonna. My teacher Carol Cannon, and she's so good at measuring, and she's so this, and mm -hmm. she's so. I like fro when I, I I was a consultant and I froze. I thought, oh, I'm not gonna, you know, the compass and the, the measuring. And then <laughs> someone said to me, wait a minute, Dara, like, aren't you intuitive? Yes. Don't you? Aren't you wonderful with aesthetics at home? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And why don't you offer what you have to give? You don't need a thing. You don't need anything other than. And and it's true. When I walk into somebody's home, I can feel energetically where it's stuck. I can like help them to make suggestions aesthetically on how to make it better feng shui wise. So that's my gift and that's what I learned. With raw food, you know, there's a lot of people who, you know, want to be in a restaurant or they want to be a private chef or mm -hmm. they want to do retreats mm -hmm. and I want to just stand here and talk with you guys all day. <laughs> that's what I want to do. So everybody has their, mm -hmm. you know, their their thing and there's so much room for our things. Like time is of the essence. We need this information more than we need another thing. Unless it's like a high performance blender or you know a beautiful mug to hold your tonics. Or, mm -hmm. But information is what's needed now. So hone your craft, you know, get your mad skills. And share it with the world. I think that that's what's gonna at. create. That you're good at. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that's what's gonna make this world a better place. When we step mm -hmm. into our power, reclaim our our skills, our talents, and share that with the world, mm -hmm. right? Because a lot of people think, you know, they'll say, well, I need permission, I need, I'm not this, I don't have enough to say, or I don't know enough, and it's like, you know what, you know enough, because you're you right now, and you can guide somebody from yes. where you're at. Like, mm -hmm. you, you, you can inspire what, somebody. You yeah, know. don't wait until you've had the degree. Don't wait until you've had the, it's just, you, you, if you know one thing, share that one thing. Yeah. I love it. Right? What should we ask? What's the question of the day? We should leave them with a question. You're good at that. I'll leave it to you. You ask mm. the question of the day. Our question of the day is, what are you trying to manifest into the world? What What do you feel your gift is? What is one talent? And don't be shy. Leave a comment below. Let us know. Yeah. Just pick one thing you've always known you were good at. You know you're good at something. I know you guys are. Because <laughs> a lot of people go, I don't know. I don't know. And if you don't know, you can write, I don't know either. And then that might prompt the, the thought process. Excellent question. Oh, thank Excellent you. Excellent to have you here. Always amazing. Cheers. Yes, cheers, honey. Kadera's Tonics. Hey, amazing. Guys. This is so good. Bye, guys. Bye.